That's right, gamers. I am back with the Stanley Parable. Because so far in this game, I've been belligerent and upset the narrator. And he's either made me go crazy or kill me. So this time, I'm going to try to be a good Stanley and do everything right. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? It means Stanley his narrator... Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. It means no his narrator... No Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. It means his narrator is batshit insane is what it means. Alright, we're actually going to go to the meeting room, and then we're going to go to the boss's office, and we're going to do every everything right, because we don't want to piss off the narrator, because he'll when kill Stanley us. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. See how good I'm being? After, seriously, like, I didn't think the narrator Yet could be so vicious. there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Hello, old friend. I miss you, Broom. You were so much fun last episode before everything got all crazy. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. I'm not going downstairs because I did that last time and I learned that was a stairway to hell, so... Stairway to heaven, here we come. Better get a good ending this time, because I'm being a good Stanley, wow. That's... A nice office. What was over here? Oh, the bathroom. Really? Source here. Okay, I guess uh I guess we got to go this way. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? Look at the what painting. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. I could probably enter the wrong thing, but I'm going to do the right thing because we're playing everything right. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the <laughs> keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. I got he you. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Oh. Oh. This is a, this is a big, this is a big ass passageway. With lights looking at me that look like a smiley face. I'm a little intimidated over here. Little intimidated. What's gonna happen? It's gonna ha oh. Is there anything over here? Nope, just a just a black wall. Okay, <laughs> we're gonna go. I'm. I, you guys are seeing this in split up episodes, but I'm playing it all at once. And uh, oh, the gap between has always scared me a little bit. Uh, I, this is getting kind of creepy. This game. I don't know. I don't like it, because I know this narrator's a piece of work. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It's true, it I am feeling peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Is that when it? did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? I don't know. This question would not go unanswered for long. Oh, that's like dizzying. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Of course. Of course. Game, why do you tempt me? You know, every single time I want to go the wrong way, you know it. That means I'm going to play this game at least one more time going that way. Let's do it. Oh, I can't leave anymore. They shut the doors. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. 
Did he have the strength to find I, out? I want to. Can we turn on the screens though? Ah, I want to know. Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. Stand 427, that's us. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. What does that one say? Can't really read it. That was creepy. We were... Wow. Okay. All right. I was going to say our room number again, but that made me forget it. 274. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That Probably. his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? He's painting a very dark picture over here. Do I dare? I don't have a choice. No. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable. The narrator. It? Was it even possible? We're under the Had narrator's he truly control. truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? But here Maybe I should have escaped. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in... Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. So I guess that's what the five button was for. Oh, there's all different buttons. Oh, even those are buttons. Oh no, there's so many to hit. Let's go with three. I guess I have to dismantle everything, huh? Oh, maybe I just keep moving. And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. So we could turn it on again. Oh, I want to turn it on so bad, game. Why do you do this? Why do you do this? All right, we're doing we're doing everything right. and a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? Yes. He had won. He had defeated the machine, unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps what? his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, 
it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was perhaps the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. This game was so silly this whole time. I, I didn't expect this. I'm not ready for this. I, I'm not ready to be let free. Wow, it was so silly. Who knew it could get so, so serious? Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. So in the first episode, beat the game. That was it. So all the way back to the very first episode when the narrator said he had something beautiful to show us. That was it. Have you guys ever seen the good ending before? I know this is an older game, so some of you probably have, but that was so cool. I kind of wish I did everything else first. In the next episode, I'm gonna try to escape. I will see you there.